What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and I have compiled my list of top 10 worst movies of 2019. These are the films that were either disappointing or straight up garbage. So without further ado, let's rock this. At number 10, X-Men Dark Phoenix. Wow, the fact that this movie was a total thud only solidifies the thought that Maybe we, the fans, have reached the point of X-Men fatigue. What is ultimately sad about Dark Phoenix is that it was supposed to do right by the original material what Brett Ratner's X-Men 3 got wrong on. But still, the result was a movie that barely made a dent. At number 9, Hellboy. I actually had high hopes for this reboot, especially when I heard that it was gonna be rated R like hard R, but man oh man, this movie turned out so bad that I betcha everybody involved with this project will now wish that they could erase Hellboy from their IMDb resume list. At number eight, Six Underground. My God, I could not even finish watching this film. Halfway through, I got up and said, fuck it, fuck this shit. I'm out of here. The story was all over the place and the action sequences were chaotic instead of creative. At number seven, Charlie's Angels. I so wanted this movie to be at least decent because I have the hugest crush on both Kristen Stewart and Naomi Scott. But sadly, this film's plot was deeply frustrating. The reveals were uninspired. Nothing about the story was well thought out and it kind of insulted our intelligence. Maybe Charlie's Angels is one iconic property that should never be revisited again. At number six, The Lion King. This live action CG hybrid Lion King reboot's biggest transgression is that it did not take any risk at all. It was too afraid to try something new. It was too afraid to piss off the fans. So the result was a film that played it too safe and it felt more like a carbon copy instead of its own thing. At number five, The Hustle. The team up of Rebel Wilson and Anne Hathaway should have worked right because it's formulaic. One being the clumsy, bumbling, out of control and the other is hoity-toity uptight Kinda like the odd couple thing, but the script was absolute trash and none of the jokes landed. Watching this movie was one of the most painful experiences I've had in theaters. At number four, Cats. What more can I say about this movie that hasn't already been said by critics across the globe? The general consensus is, Everybody found Cats to be detestable. I hated the endless Cats introductions and the story did not have much to offer either. At number three, Angel Has Fallen. Angel Has Fallen was a total ripoff of Harrison Ford's The Fugitive. Few movies I've seen in my lifetime that gave me headaches, Angel Has Fallen was one of them. At number two, Child's Play. You know, the old original Chucky had that scarred face, the stuff that nightmares were made of, but this new high-tech Chucky looks more like a creepy registered sex offender. And to this day, I still don't understand why this movie tried too hard to be comedy instead of just be straight up horror. And the number one worst movie of 2019, in my opinion, is Glass. M. Night Shyamalan's very own shared cinematic universe failed to deliver. This film's one flew over the cuckoo's nest wannabe and its unsatisfying, uneventful, anticlimactic ending made me realize now more than ever that M. Night Shyamalan's storytelling prowess is long gone. The only silver lining was James McAvoy's impressive performance, but with that said, I would not be caught dead re-watching Glass again. So that's it. What does your list look like? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and as always, subscribe to my channel, press that like button and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this.